It's nine o'clock, I'm Charlie State. Fears are growing tonight. Foot and mouth disease could spread right across Europe following the first confirmed case in France. A total ban on exporting French livestock has been imposed after the disease was detected at this farm in northwestern France. The British government says every precaution was taken. It is not possible to take a tougher disease control measure uh, than that. And I, and I have to say I very much regret the uh, spread of foot and mouth disease uh, to the, co the continent. And I'm very sorry to what has happened to our partners in the European Union. It's been revealed the serviceman who gave the US Navy fighter pilot the all clear in a fatal training exercise tried to abort the strike at the very last minute. The accidental bombing in the Kuwaiti desert killed five American servicemen and a New Zealander. Prince Charles became king of the turntables today. <laughs> oh, dig that crazy rhythm. The heir to the throne tried his hand at DJing on an official visit to Centrepoint Shelter in South London. Manchester United are well on their way to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Teddy Sheringham made it 2-0 against Sturm Graz in the 20th minute, which means the Reds are all but through to the next leg. Let's take a look at tomorrow's weather. Scattered showers in the north, dry and bright elsewhere. Top temperature, 11 degrees. That's it. We're back with more news at 5 to 10. in America would like to have one of these. <laughs> that was what was going on in 84. I'm a very sexual person. Purple rain in that whole situation. Three and a half minutes can change someone's life. And it's 10 o'clock high. Looks like day 23. Dissecting the decade. 1980s weekend. Saturday from 6.50 on 5. It's just before 10, I'm Charlie State. Britain today apologised to France after the first case of foot and mouth disease was confirmed across the channel. A total ban on exporting French livestock has now been imposed. Agriculture Minister Nick Brown said Britain had done everything possible to stop the spread of the disease, which has now been detected at this farm in northwestern France. It is not possible to take a tougher disease control measure uh, than that. And I, and I have to say I very much regret the uh, spread of foot and mouth disease uh, to the, co the continent. And I'm very sorry to what has happened to our partners in the European Union. This side of the channel, the number of confirmed cases of foot and mouth jumped again today. The number is now up to 205. Farming leaders say the crisis is far from over. The importance of today's meeting was to explain to the Prime Minister the gravity of the situation and highlight the key measures that we see a way ahead. A steady nerve, maintaining the slaughter policy, having all the resource that we need available and eradicating this disease with a single-minded determination as quickly as possible. It's been revealed the US Navy fighter pilot who killed six soldiers in a training exercise may not have been to blame. It's thought he was mistakenly given the all clear by ground control. Five American servicemen and a New Zealander were killed in the accidental bombing in the Kuwaiti desert. 4,000 jobs are to be axed from the communications company Cable and Wireless. Two and a half thousand of the jobs will be lost in the UK. The company claims revenues have fallen because of an economic slowdown in the States. Princess Anne has been fined after being caught speeding in her Bentley. Princess was clocked driving 93 miles an hour, nearly 30 miles above the speed limit near her home in Gloucestershire. She was fined 400 pounds and given five points on her license. Boys for the princess say she saw the police car and thought he was waiting to escort her. Meanwhile, her brother, Prince Charles, tried his hand at DJing today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dig that crazy rhythm. Prince of Wales got on the decks to spin a few tunes during a visit to the Centrepoint Homeless Shelter in South London. He said a similar centre had inspired him to do his bit 30 years ago. I began to think that I must try to do more if I possibly could to reach those people who were the hardest to reach, those who were the most alienated and disaffected. Manchester United are through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Teddy Sheringham made it 2-0 against the Austrian side Sturm Graz in the 20th minute at Old Trafford and Roy Keane scored the third in the final minutes of the match. Let's take a look at tomorrow's weather. Scattered showers in the north. Drive right across the rest of the country. Top temperatures up to 11 degrees.
That's it. The last update is at 11.30. It's 11.30, I'm Zoe Bird. Foot and mouth disease looks set to spread across mainland Europe after the first cases of the disease were confirmed in France today. A total ban on exporting French livestock has now been imposed after the disease was first detected in cattle at this farm in northwestern France. In Britain, the number of cases has now reached 205. Rural community leaders are calling for a possible May election to be postponed because of the crisis. It's been revealed the U.S. Navy fighter pilot who killed six soldiers in a training exercise may not have been to blame. It's thought he was mistakenly given the all-clear by ground control. The accident happened in darkness in the Kuwaiti desert. It looks like the band Hearsay will really become pop star. One hundred and sixty thousand copies of their single Pure and Simple were sold yesterday, making it the fastest moving debut single since records began. Manchester United are through to the quarter-finals of the Champions League. The Reds beat the Austrian side Sturm Graz 3-0. Nicky Butts, Teddy Sheringham and Roy Keane were the goal scorers. I'll leave you with a look at tomorrow's weather now. Dry and bright across most of the country. Top temperature 11 degrees. That's it. Join us for 5 News at 6 tomorrow morning.